Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create this super easy glitch transition inside After Effects. Let's jump right in. First, we'll start off with the two clips in our timeline that we want to create the transition between. I like to set up markers to know where I want my transition to start and stop. With my playhead directly at the cut of these two clips, I'm going to press page up four times on my keyboard and that will move four frames before this cut. If your keyboard doesn't have page up and down, use the function key and the up and down arrows. Then I'll drag this marker icon to the left here to where my playhead is at to set the endpoint. Then I will do the same thing, but press page down four times to move forward four frames, and then I'll add a marker here as well. Next, let's create a new solid by right-clicking on this empty area on my timeline layer panel and select new solid. I'll name it fractal noise and click OK. Next, let's go to our effects and presets window on the right here and search for fractal noise. I'll click and drag this onto my solid to apply the effect. Go to the effects controls window and the first thing we'll want to change is the noise type to block. Then I'll set my contrast to 200, brightness to negative 10, and then I'll drop down this transform option and uncheck uniform scaling. And then I'll set the scale width to 4000 and the scale height to 800. Then we'll go down to evolution here and alt or option click on the stopwatch icon and this will create an expression. Now, if you've never used an expression before, don't worry, I'll show you exactly what to type in here. Let's scroll down on my timeline here and in this box, let's delete what's in there and type in time asterisk 2000. What we've done here is automated the evolution of the fractal noise so that we don't have to mess around with keyframes. Okay, now let's pre-compose our fractal noise layer by right clicking on the layer and clicking pre-compose. I'll name it fractal comp and make sure that move all attributes is selected and then press OK. Now go over to this little eye icon and click it so that we actually hide this layer as we don't need to see it for the effect to work. Now let's right click on our timeline layer window and select new adjustment layer. I'll rename this adjustment layer to glitch transition. Now under our effects and presets window, let's search for displacement map and I'll drag that onto our adjustment layer. In the effects controls window, just change the displacement map layer to our fractal comp layer. And then I'll adjust these horizontal and vertical displacement settings until it's looking kind of how I want it to. Next, I'll set my playhead to the first marker here and press control or command shift D on my keyboard and that will split this layer here. Then I can go to my second marker and do the same thing again. And I'll have this smaller clip here. Now I can just delete these two longer layers and just leave the shorter clip. Now let's select our two video clips in our timeline panel and pre-compose them. I'll just name it Clips. Next to fill in these black edges, let's add the motion tile effect onto our clips layer and select this mirror edges box and then raise our output width and height values. Now this already looks like a pretty good glitch transition, but now we can actually add the RGB effect on it as well. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Next, I'll trim it with the control or a command shift D, just like we did with our other adjustment layer, and delete the two clips I don't need. Then I'll rename it to red. Now let's search for the shift channels effect and drag that onto this adjustment layer. Next, let's turn off the green and blue channels by changing these to full off. Next, in the effects and presets window, let's search for the wiggle position effect and add that onto this adjustment layer as well. Then duplicate this red adjustment layer with control or command D on your keyboard, and then turn off red and set take green from green. Then I'll rename this layer to green, and then let's duplicate it one more time and turn off the green setting and set take blue from blue, and then I'll rename this to blue. Next, let's select all three of these adjustment layers and change the blending mode to screen. If you don't see this option, you can press this toggle switches and modes button down here. From here, I just added some sound effects to really make this whole effect feel real. And that's all, you have this amazing glitch effect that was super simple to create. And the great thing is you can bring in any clips you want and reuse this effect on anything. Anyways guys, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time guys, peace out.